Shifting focus to North Africa now, where Egypt is battling a worsening power crisis. Now, the country is counting on foreign funds to tackle this problem. According to reports, Saudi Arabia and Libya have financed the purchase of gas cargoes worth at least $200 million to help Egypt ease the crisis. Riyadh reportedly financed three of the 32 LNG cargoes that Cairo has bought this year, which are worth around $150 million. And Libya financed one cargo in July worth around $50 million. Egypt needs around $2 billion worth of gas to cover some in demand. Cairo is facing a steep decline in its domestic gas output. It was down to a six-year low in May. And the current uh, currency crisis is making it difficult for the country to fully cover imports of liquefied natural gas. In 2015, Italian group ENI had discovered uh, the giant Azore offshore field located in Egypt's Sharuk area. And after the discovery, Egypt planned to become a major gas exporter. But over the years, the output of the field began falling. And reports say that the speedy development of the project injected too much water into the reservoir, which made the gas extraction difficulty. Now, reports also add that uh, gas industry output slowed as debt for gas and fuel supplies mounted. And Egypt's debt to ENI alone, mainly related to gas, stood at over a billion dollars at the end of June. Now, last year, Egypt resorted to load shedding to keep its grid functioning amid a lack of gas supply and rising demand. The deepening energy crisis is also straining Cairo's budget as it grapples with a heavy subsidized bill. And the El Sisi government boosted fuel and food subsidies this year as people struggle with the rising costs of living. Now, the move pushed the country's foreign debt to $154 million in May, close to all-time high of $168 million at the end of 2023. So power outages Inflation and a weakening currency are pushing Egypt into one of its worst economic crises since Abdel Fattah al-Sisi took power in 2014. It is also fueling public discontent. A decade ago, power outages fed public anger that led to mass protests. And these protests ended with the downfall of Egypt's first democratically elected leader, the Muslim Brotherhood's Mohamed Mursi. Will the worsening power and economic crisis once again cause an uprising in Egypt, leading to another leader's downfall? Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree. A News 18 Network initiative. On the fifth day, the 2020 World Cup run by the Indians moved across to the West Indies, where we expect 